Once Pablo Picasso said, without great solitude, no serious work is possible. So, hello everyone, Nick is here. Welcome to Internet Philosopher with another video. Today the topic is solitude as you guys already know about it, I guess. So, I know nowadays you guys have heard about the word solitude maybe a million times, but at the same time, maybe in your mind, the question has arise like, what solitude actually is? Or, uh, what is the difference between this loneliness and solitude? Are they still the same? So guys, let me clarify those queries for you. Okay, number one is solitude is an art of the of being alone for a purpose, and, and this loneliness and solitude is totally different. Loneliness is like is a man who doesn't enjoy his own self. On the other hand, solitude is an art that one develops through a greater understanding of one's own self. We humans are social in nature, like our brains are wired to, you know, wired to want belong, want to belong. We are tribal. Our ancestors were tribal, so we like to belong in a tribe. So to satisfy those urges of feeling of belonging in a tribe is insanely satisfying. The fear of finding oneself alone that is what they suffer from and they don't find themselves at all. As Andrew Gates said, when you stay alone you find yourself with your own self and all of your actions and planning, thoughts, all of this stuff comes to the surface of your mind. And that doesn't mean that these are bad things. They want your attention to solve it instead of pushing it down to the deep state of your mind. So this is the part that most people are afraid of. They constantly need someone to be happy. So they try to run and find another human being for their happiness. But once you overcome this, these fears, then your perspective of looking life will change. For example, when you try to work work out it feels hard for the first time but you know it is necessary to be healthy and fit the workout is very necessary just like that our mind also needs some time mental workout to be fit and in, to be fit and in stay in shape as Fyodor Dostoevsky said solitude for the mind is essential as food for the body after being in solitude you will feel that you are connected to the whole world and you don't need any other human being to be happy that doesn't mean that you have to be a monk or something and you can't love someone this means that now you can love someone without expecting anything other than love in return people like Pablo Picasso, Nikola Tesla and various other people practice solitude because solitude enhances the creativity it frees up the mind from all the chaos of life and it keeps the confidence to practice the single activity which is important for you. The monotony and solitude of a quiet life stimulates the creative mind. Albert Einstein. So, this is it. So, what is your opinion about solitude? Leave a comment and let me know. Have a great day, y'all. And Please subscribe to Internet Crossover. Bye-bye.